Hello everyone, and welcome to the Mortuary. I am the Mortician, and today we'll be talking about John Wick. That's right. I finally got around to watching it. Um, I love it. And this is, uh, I don't even know where to start. Um, I guess I can start with like a little bit of backstory. John Wick is like an action film. It's not even anything else. It's just straight up an action film. Uh, about a guy, John Wick, who has his dog killed and his uh, car stolen. And he goes on a basically a murderous rampage, killing a whole bunch of people to ju for just revenge. And it's it's so good. Um, I really like... The things I like the most are probably the gunplay. I absolutely loved when he would... Uh, like grab someone by the arm and just flip him over his shoulder and roll on top of him and just shoot him in the face. I thought that was so fucking cool. I have no idea if like um, Keanu Reeves had to take like some kind of martial arts training for this movie, um, but that was super awesome. Uh, what else is there? Oh, photography. Cinematography is fucking amazing. Everything is shot so well. I don't think, let's say someone were to try to do this uh, movie again similar to like Dracula and the Spanish version of Dracula how basically the Spanish version of Dracula tried to like find the weaknesses in the original you wouldn't be able to do that the cinematography is so fucking close to perfect I don't think you could do it any better if they tried I, I honestly don't think they could do it any better than they tried from the locations they filmed in which it were varied from his house to like um to a club to a hotel and whatnot they just there's a lot of variation in the sets, and a lot of the sets were really spectacular looking. Um, especially the club scene. Um, there's a there's a part where he goes into a bathhouse, and everything has this bluish hue to it. Um, and it just really looks awesome while he's kicking dudes' asses um, in this bluish hue. And then when he goes up to the upper level of the same bathhouse, it's a club, and there's these bright purples and greens and stuff. And so colorful and so awesome. It's like super, it's super stimulating to see him like, uh, you know, beat the shit out of people with all these bright, beautiful colors. Um, it's just, oh, and the soundtrack. The soundtrack, see, like, this was part of the, this, I had kind of a problem with this movie soundtrack. Um, most of it's good. I, I liked it for the most part. But they decided it'd be a great idea to play a Marilyn Manson song like three or four times in a row. I don't remember. I don't know which one off the top of my head. I know it's one of his newer-ish songs, but I just got sick of fucking hearing it. Like, it must have played three or four different times, and it just, by the fourth time, I was like, please, no more. Just stop. As far as I know, uh, Keanu Reeves and Marilyn Manson are somewhat friends, or at least... Um, acquaintances to some extent they probably maybe keanu reeves wanted him to do some of the music but like it was absolutely ridiculous to constantly hear that fucking song or any marilyn manson song like don't get me wrong i know a lot of people are gonna be like oh you hate marilyn manson i don't hate marilyn manson i think marilyn manson is uh awesome i like all of his stuff including his newer stuff which a lot of people don't like i actually enjoy it um but that being said, I would like to not hear the same song three or four different times in a single movie. You gotta have some type of variation. Um, yeah. So what else? Um, villain's pretty cool. Um, there's actually, it's not strictly a villain. There's like technically two, but we'll just, uh, you know what? There's, it's, you've had long enough to see this for the most part. Um, there's the, the the guy that kills his dog is a crime boss's son. Uh, I guess the crime boss is named Vigo. I don't remember what his son's name is. Um, in the whole movie, he's trying to kill uh, Vigo's son, and it's so satisfying when he actually fucking does it. It's like he, it's like, uh, it's so fucking cool. Um, I'm I'm trying so hard not to give things away. Because I, I want people to watch this more than any of the others I've done so far. Um, and it, it's... I'm just going to end it. Um, what do I give this? Like a 9. I would say this is like a 9.3. Like, I don't have, like, decimal system. 
but I just, I couldn't give, I have to give it more than a 9. It's not perfect, but it's just so fucking close. It's this close to being the perfect action film, in my opinion. It's this fucking close to being the perfect action film. Everything works so well. The cast works well. Um, and that's another thing. I think the cast was actually having fun filming this. Um, it just felt, I, I don't know, I just felt like they were enjoying themselves on set. Um, so there's that as well. So definitely, definitely check this movie out if you haven't already. So thank you guys for watching. Mortician, peace out.